y'all, it's Tammy and Chris with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making our traditional New Year's Day meal. Boy howdy, look at this. We always have our greens for our money and our black eyed peas for the change. That's a smoked pork chop, some good old whipped potatoes, cream potatoes we call them, and cornbread, savory cornbread. Let's get started. <music> with Collard Valley Cooks and it's New Year's Day. So of course we're having some collards and black eyed peas. That's the first thing I'm gonna put together for y'all today. I got me a slab of ham. I do like meat in my beans and in my greens as long as it's a mild smoked flavor. Um, I did try to use the turkey wings, the smoked turkey wings and we personally didn't like it as much. So today I'm using what I normally would use and that's just a piece of old ham. So, and this is already cured and uh, it has a real mild flavor, but that's what we like because we still like to taste those greens and beans. All right, so we're going to start by pulling all the leaves off of the greens. I've already washed them. I don't cook the stem part, so I just pull the leaves off and twist them and get them in my pressure cooker. I pressure cook collard greens. If you don't have a pressure cooker, then uh, you, of course you can cook them in a regular pot, but it just takes a lot longer if you want them to be good and tender. Boy, we ate a lot of collards growing up. My daddy loves them. We like collards better than we like turnip greens. My granny liked turnip greens the best. Um, we grew up in Collard Valley. We always had a big field of collards. Not a field, but a big garden of collards. Um, we really enjoy them. I love them. And I love them simple, and I don't put a whole lot of stuff in mine. So I hope y'all try it this way just once. I know a lot of y'all uh, have tried my green bean recipe, my three ingredient granny green beans, and you probably thought there's no way that's good. And so many of you were impressed and really liked them. So I, I uh, challenge you to try my collars as well because I sure do like them. And because I'm used to eating them this way, of course I like them better than everybody else's. <laughs> Uh, to be made this way. They're very mild um, as far as the seasoning in them, but boy, are they delicious. I hope we have a prosperous new year. The greens are representative of the money that we make. The greens are representative of the actual bills. And then the peas represent the change. And I remember when we were kids, Daddy would want us to get at least two helpings apiece, and buddy, he made sure we did. He would always say it made a difference. He's so funny. So we always ate it. And everybody in my family will be making collard greens, black eyed peas, cream potatoes, and some sort of meat. I can guarantee you that. But some of y'all like cabbage, and some of y'all eat sauerkraut, and uh, some of y'all eat stew. I mean, you know, everybody's different. And that's what's so fun about cooking is you get to cook what you like and even start a new tradition if you want to for your family. That's what cooking is all about. Everybody has to cook and everybody has to eat, right? And sometimes I think we find ourselves eating a lot of junk because we don't want to cook. And cooking is not hard. I'm telling you, I guarantee you, if you get in that kitchen, you'll be surprised how good it'll be and how little effort it took. And if you clean up as you go, then that's even better. So I'm going to finish getting these collards chopped up, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put my peas in a pot, and I'm going to show you what I season them both with. All right, y'all, I got my collards in my pot, and they're completely, it's completely full. I bought two bunches, so it was a lot of collards. I've got um, a 16 ounce thing of black eyed peas in here, and I'm gonna show you how I season them. Now for black eyed peas, I like to, in dried beans, mostly I use beef bouillon. You can use a cube of nor, or you can use the granules. So sprinkle you some bouillon in there. We're gonna use some salt and pepper. All right, I'm gonna put a couple of uh, 
I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in each one. And I'll wait and taste this one. I've got two teaspoons on the instructions, but we're going to put a little pepper in them. Now, I'm going to use sugar. You can use regular sugar or brown sugar. Either one works just fine. Um, really, with this many collards, I can't really tell that much of a difference in which type of sugar I use. Um, I ask you to put in two tablespoons of sugar. Um, so I'm going to do that right quick in my collards. That kind of cuts that bitterness out of a collard. Turnip greens are actually more bitter than collards. So we're going to put in a couple of tablespoons. I'm also going to put oil in both of these. And I don't have to put quite as much oil in them because I'm going to put in some ham. So I got me a little slab of ham. Uh, this is Smithfield ham. I'm going to put some in my beans and some in my collards. I'm going to put them down underneath here. Some. And now we're going to add water. We're going to add water to our collards until it comes up to the top of our hand. As you press it really tight down into the pot. That should be plenty. We're going to put some water in our peas. Whenever you put water in dried beans, make sure you got at least a knuckle depth above them, preferably two knuckles or a knuckle and a half. And then we're going to put both of these on the stove top and get them started cooking. Now, black eyed peas don't take as long to cook as most dried beans, so I don't soak them first ever. And I just put them on there. I bring them to a boil. I boil them for about 20 minutes. And then I uh, simmer them the rest of the way to get done, like on a low temperature. And then for the collard greens, I pressurize. Um, and what I'm going to do is pressurize it on high for about 20 minutes and then turn it off. And they're going to be done. All right. I'm also going to show you guys how to make your collards in the Instant Pot because I knew a lot of you would ask. Now I showed you the pressure cooker and how to start them in your pressure cooker. Now we're gonna use the Instant Pot. Also, my beans have come to a boil and I let them rapid boil for about 10 minutes or so. You can see they've already fluffed up. It don't take like a piece long to get done. I'm gonna go ahead and see if they're fork tender at all uh, in that amount of time. And they're pretty hard. But now it still don't take them long to cook. But you can see that now the water, there's not enough water in them. So after you do your boil, you need to add water. Make sure they're good and covered. That's really not quite enough. Make sure they're good and covered with water. You don't want, you know, a lot of water, but a good cover of water. And then that we're just going to put the lid on them and push them back. And then all I'll do is let them sit there for about an hour or so, and then we will bring them back to a boil and put them on a low simmer until they're nice and soft. It won't even take that long. All right, now I'm gonna show you this Instant Pot way of making collard greens. I went ahead and I dumped all that stuff on the top that I put in my collards, even the ham, and I stirred it up a little bit so it would get down in there. You also use the same amount of water. Now, if you don't want to make two bunches of collards like my recipe says, you can make one bunch and just half the recipe. And then when you put your water in your collards, go ahead and put your hands on your collards before you add all your oil and stuff. Add that water till it gets up to your fingers like I showed you earlier. Even with a half recipe, you still do that same trick, okay? So I did that with this. This is just a one bunch collard recipe, and I am going to start this in the Instant Pot. Now, if you make your collards in an Instant Pot, you don't have to cook them all day to make them soft. It makes them just so tender and delicious, you'll never make them another way if you have an Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, use your pressure cooker. If you don't have that, of course you can use a pot and cook them all day, okay?
So what we're going to do is turn your Instant Pot on. I am going to actually choose the meat stew because it's a normal press pressure for 30 minutes and that's what I wanted to set it on. Now if you don't have this button, just use a button and then adjust it so that it's normal at 30 minutes. It automatically turns on. This is going to come up to pressure and cook for 30 minutes and these are going to be nice and tender. Now once they're done, I like to boil some of the water off of them to make a really good rich pot liquor, what people call their pot, the juice of the collard greens to soak up with your cornbread. And we will be back later today. I'm gonna to go up ahead and get some cream potatoes ready. If you wanna see how I make my cream potatoes, there's a video for that in the, in the post description and or on the website. Get them nice and fluffy. I'm getting them nice and fluffy. Today I decided to use this. I don't normally use it. All right. Now we're going to make us a plate. First we're going to get out our cornbread. I'll turn off these pork chops. All I did is warm up these pork chops. They're uh, smoked pork chops. Now y'all see me take these beans today. Well, let's put this out. But I'll tell you, I didn't get that real brown, did I? All right. You seen me take these beans today, and um, all I did after I let y'all go or whatever, I shoved them to the back. I turned them on about 30 minutes ago, and they're already falling apart done. Okay? So it don't take all days to cook uh, these kind of beans. And this is our chops that we got, and they're pre-cooked, and they're smoked. So they're gonna be really good. We're gonna make us a plate. I threw some extra cornbread in my mix. You can tell it's taller than it normally is because I thought we just might have Paul and his wife over for supper, but they've never even eaten collards and they weren't willing to try them. So they're missing out. They're going to eat Italian food tonight. Mm. So me and Chris are gonna have our New Year's meal. And I am going to make us a plate real quick, and I'm going to show you what we typically eat. Now, I'm going to get me out some of them sweet pickles that Rhonda them sent us from, uh, say, where do they live, Daddy? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And they're really, really good. So we're going to put us a few potatoes on the plate. Look how creamy those look. Nice and delicious. Look at these up close. When you whip a lot of air into them, it just makes them so pretty. All right, get us a little bowl for our, well, I actually had some already dipped. We'll just fill it, fill it the rest of the way up. This is gonna be really hot for me to take a bite, so I don't know that I'm taking a bite for y'all uh, tonight or not because it is all boiling hot. So there's our peas. We're gonna put our chop on the plate. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Our nice pretty chop. Gotta have some pork. Or we have to. Some of y'all don't eat pork, but we sure do. No, we get it. Now for the star of the show, the money. Daddy always told us the peas were the change, the greens are the dollars. We're gonna make lots of money this year. That's what Daddy would always say. So you better eat until you can't eat no more. That's what he would tell us every year. My sister called me. She said, well, Daddy's seen JoJo bring my collards in the house. So he called me up, wanted to know was I gonna cook him some collards? And I said, well, I guess so. Cause we don't go in our family without having some collard greens on New Year's. Now I did cook these in the Instant Pot today. Uh, they are falling to pieces, very tender. Um, when you pressure cook collards, oh my stars, are they delicious? This is our traditional Southern meal. I'll show you how tender this, these collards are. Look, you can just cut them with a fork. I mean, just easily cut them. 
And I promise you, if you make my recipe, you're going to like them. It's a simple recipe, but boy, are they good, ain't they, Chris? Mm-hmm. Just delicious. I hope y'all had a good New Year's Day. When you see this, I can guarantee you we did. And thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, I love ya.